Good morning, students. Today's topic for the discussion is mix, mixomycota. These are the acellular slime molds, and uh, these are the member of the members of this divisions are commonly referred to as slime molds. Coming to the introduction part, the slime molds and the water molds, they resemble fungi in, in only appearance and, and lifestyles. There are two major groups which are involved. The first is called, called as plasmodial slime molds and the second one is called as cellular slime molds, which differ most, most notably in their behavior in the motile phase. Although Although they are presently classified as, as protozoans in the kingdom proto protesta, slime molds were once thought to be fungi in the kingdom mycetae because they produce spores that are born in the, in the sporangia, which is a characteristic common to some texts of fungi. However, the assimilative stage in the slime mold is morphologically similar to that of amoeba this assim uh, you can say this assimilative stage has been designated as mix mix amoeba the mix amoeba as is the, as is the case of the amoeba is a uninucleated haploid cells which is not enclosed in a rigid cell wall and ingests its food by the means of phagocytosis. During the, this mode of injection, the food particles, uh, usually bacteria, become surrounded by the pseudopodia of the mixed amoeba. Once the food has been engulfed in this matter, it, it is surrounded by the, by the membrane or you can say the food vacuoles where hydrolytic enzymes are secreted that will digest the food as such. In, in fungi, the assimilative stage are mycelium and yeast, both of which are surrounded by the rigid cell wall and obtain their food by means of absorptions. These are some of the reasons why mycologists no longer resembles slime mold as being fungi. However, the organism in this group continue to be studied in mycology as a matter of tradition and not because they are thought to be related to fungi. Within the mixomycota, the class Mixomycetes, often referred to as acellular slime molds, which uh, will uh, will be the only class that that will be considered in this in this section. These Mixomycota, Mixoamoebae, or uh, flag uh, flagellated slime slime cells, are somewhat you can see the picture of uh, this uh, mixed amoeba or the flagellated slime slime cell in this here. These, these are they are yellow in color and they give the slimy appearance. Okay, here when uh, we'll deal with the life cycle life cycle of this. Mixomycetes. These are the spore germination. There will be spore germination will be there. Mix amoeba and swamp cells will be there. The spores of mixomycetes are normally globose. They are the unis nucleate and haploid. The spore surface may range from almost smooth to reticulate. We can take the example of uh, P. polycephalum and D. iridis. The spores are sp spiky and they are spike. They have spiky, uh, spike-like characteristics. The spore wall is composed 
primarily of cellulose and is only one of the two stages where the cell wall is formed. The other stages that form the cell wall is the microcyst, which is uh, upon germination, the spores will crack open and release a single uninucleate mix amoeba. These mix amoeba moves by amoeboid move, uh, motions and ingests the food by phagocytosis as it does so and, and the mix amoeba feeds and grow. They will reproduce asexually by mitosis and cytokinesis. The mix amoeba stage may continue to proliferate for an ind indefinite period of time if there is available nutrients and food in the environment and there is favorable conditions. In most species, the mix amoeba stage may also vary according to the environment. Uh, for example, when free water is available, mix amoeba can differentiate into flagellated swarm cells. Although two flagella are present, one the long anteriorly directed flagellum is available. The second one, the very short flagellum is usually not visible. During period of unfavorable conditions, the protoplast of the Mix MEB or swarm cells can round up and forms a thin cellulose protective layer around itself called the microcyst. These are called as microcysts, which will protect it from the surrounding environment, which is unfavorable. When there is unfavorable condition prevails for a longer period, the plasmodium forms a protective brittle layer and becomes dormant and this dormant stage is called as sclerotium and if observed under the microscope, it can be observed to be the to be composed of number of small multinucleated cells called as macrocysts. And upon return of the favorable conditions, each macrocyst can give rise to a new plasmodium. In this we can see, when we talk about the figure, I can explain this with the help of the figure. You can see here the spore is there. This is, it is getting, it is under favorable condition is germinating. It is converted to mix amoeba. And this mix amoeba can be in the, in this mix amoeba stage or may convert it to swarm cells. The fusion of these two, fusion will take place and they are convert uh, they will be converted to zygote the zygote formation is there upon zygote formation the young plasmodium will be produced and these young plasmodium will be converted to older plasmodium and from here the fruiting body formation will be there and the, these fruiting body when get mature the spores will be there and these spores from meiosis by the process of meiosis in the fruiting body or the spores they will re be released in the surrounding environment now they are ready for the germination when they get the suitable environment so this is all about the reproduction in the mixo mycota thank you